Hey guys, how you doing? It's your Ken for the win here, and today I'm just going to show you guys that, uh, introduce you guys to this new game that I'm playing called Knight's Chronicle, and we're going to kick things off with these, uh, Hero Summon tickets. So without further ado, I'm going to start with the four stars. So let's go ahead and start with uh, I don't think that guy is really usable. Mm, okay, what else do I have? Like this. And another garbage unit. And I'm not saying that just because they're uh, R's. Some of the R's are actually usable, but those particular ones that I just got are I highly unadvise using them. Actually, I'm going to go read their skills real quick just to make sure that they're not usable in any way because as you guys would know, I play all games that I play for the majority free to play. I haven't spent any money on this game, so don't worry. And now the last one is the six star. Let's build a little bit of suspense. And let's go. See what we can do. Oh, come on. What is this? All right, let's go see. More than likely than not, those ones are useless because I didn't see... I seen on the Japan uh, wiki, I didn't see those particular characters uh, as su suggested okay 100% chance of attack increase the target HP is at 100% taunts them for one turn Wha okay that's kind of useful 50% chance to taunt all enemies for two turns increases caster's defense by 30% it becomes guaranteed to counter okay so that he's not as useless I don't have a tank right now so he might have to do Inflicts damage equal to 300% of attack. Inflicts 20% additional damage when the target HP is at 100%. This hmm. 3 is kind of... Uh, it's kind of... Uh, I don't want to say it's useless, but it kind of is. Revive and become immune to damage for one turn upon taking fatal damage. Okay, that's actually not bad. Mm, inflicts 20% additional damage when attacking a taunted target. Mm, okay, so he's not that bad, but uh, I'm just going to lock him for now because I don't have a tank. So I'm not going to be summoning anytime soon. I'm just going to be working on the characters I got for now. Okay, inflicts damage equal to 100% of a target. 50% chance to gain divine light. Restores HP of the ally with the lowest HP by 5% when attacking a target. Each Divine Light increases the recovery amount by 1%. 100% chance to gain an additional Divine Light when using a skill. So how do I gain? Oh, okay. 50% chance to gain. 50% chance to gain. Restores an ally and two adjacent allies. Revise one ally. Mm. <laughs> okay, so he's... Mm, I'm not going to be using him. I don't need him. Restores all allies HP by 5% when using a skill. Inflicts damage equal, okay. Inflicts damage equal to 200% of attack to one target. 50% chance to increase target's damage taken by 30%. Hmm. Uh, nah, she's not going to be useful. Yeah, I don't need it. So both of those are trash. But the units I have right now, I re-rolled. Uh, I spent only maybe a 30, 40 minutes, and I was able to get Esna. So I stopped there. I didn't try again. And I've been leveling her ever since. Details, we can go uh, to the rune setup that I have for her. So these two runes in the middle obviously are going to get changed out, as well as the sixth rune. Because if... Uh, you don't know you cannot level up runes in this game. They have to be six stars and then you enhance them from there. That's what I've learned, which kind of sucks, but whatever. So basically what I'm trying to go for with my Esna is to counterattack and multi-strike. Just basically have her attack as many times as possible. Not really necessarily trying to do super high amounts of damage. I just want her to attack as many times as she can so that way she can inflict her mental seal uh, as much as possible. Also, uh, well this 
everybody gets her for free so now i have two ssrs and also at the end of seven days you get a free ssr ticket so i'll have three ssrs and i also pulled her on my reroll and i've been looking around the community and apparently she's actually really good but i'm kind of confused on how i want to build her but for now i have 20 percent attack increase and critical strike chance so i kind of made a mistake but what i'm gonna keep this room i'm gonna keep that one i may keep this one i won't keep this one because i want to see if i can get all of her runes if possible with a uh, crit strike chance on them so that way i can increase her damage potential because with this skill she's actually one of the highest dps characters in the game apparently but i'm still learning and so for right now i just wanted to make this video just to show you guys that i am playing this game and we're gonna go ahead and jump into some pvp battles i probably just do two pvp battles and then recommend something for new players and then go ahead and end the video there so this like and uh to me i think it's very important to reroll because early game i'm just so much more powerful than everybody else like you see everybody else just has r's r's srs but me